So one thing that happens to business owners when they're looking to get pre-approved is they will send me their personal tax returns, they'll send me their business tax returns, and they'll tell me, oh, hey, I make you know $400,000 uh, $500,000 a year in my business, and business is a booming, and I shouldn't have any problems qualifying. And then I call them back with the tough, tough news that they don't qualify, or they don't qualify nearly as much as they thought they did, and they get pissed. They're like, why? I make all this money. Here's why. When you file taxes and you have write-offs and expenses in the business, lenders don't just look at what you have in your bank account and do some kind of mathematical wizardry. We follow the IRS tax code. So if you're showing losses to the IRS, we count those losses against you because the IRS does and so we do too. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't go tell the IRS man that you have a bunch of expenses in your business because you don't want to pay taxes at the end of the year, but then come to the lenders and, and try to make it look like you're you know big fish on paper it doesn't work that way so just know that when you're self-employed and you're writing off things for your business if you have any intention of buying a home you need to be careful about what you're writing off and what you're not writing off because it absolutely impacts your ability to borrow